Hi, in today's tutorial we're going to create a VDisk on an Equalogic array and present it to a Windows 2008 server. So here we go. The first thing you want to do is to launch your iSCSI initiator on your server. Click on the configuration tab and view the IQN name. Go ahead and copy that into your clipboard and say OK. The next thing we're going to do is launch group admin. So once you've launched and logged in, you're in the you're in the volumes pane. If not, click on create volume. Once you've done that, you're going to give your volume a name and you're going to give it a description and you're going to select a storage pool if you have multiple uh, Equalogic boxes. Once you've given it a volume name and a description, go ahead and click next. Select your volume size. If you're going to thin provision this disk, go ahead and click that now. If you want to set a snapshot reserve, go ahead and enter that number now. Once you're satisfied with the settings, click Next. Next we're going to we're going to grant access. This is where you copy in the IQN name of the server that you just copied it from the clipboard. We want to make sure it's set for read and write and then we're going to click on Next. Review your settings and click Finish. Your new, desk, your new disk has been created. Under the Activities pane, you'll see that you are already on the disk. You can see the disk is online. Now that you're on the properties for your new disk, click on the Access tab. You can see the IQN name of the server here. Click on the Connections tab. This will be the iSCSI target IQN name. Go ahead and minimize this, the iSCSI initiator properties. Type in the IP address of the target in question. This is the, man this is the IP address of the Equalogic array. Then click on Quick Connect. That's going to query the group and give you a list of any discovered targets. Go ahead, now that it's connected, go ahead and click on OK. Now, launch group manager, server manager, and hit refresh. There's your new disk. We're going to go ahead, right click, bring it online, and then we're going, once it becomes online, we're going to go ahead and format that disk, initialize it, once it's initialized, right click and format the disk. Here you can see the disk formatting. There's your new volume. To confirm your new volume, go right here into my computer. There's your new disk. It's ready to be read and written to. Let's go back to the iSCSI initiator. We see that the target is listed, and we're all done. Thank you for walking with me through this tutorial on how to add an Equalogic disk from a 4100 and connecting it to a Windows 2008 server. Thank you.